All right, we're at M&D Supply in Beaumont talking to Frank McHaney. And, you know, I want to talk about this. I've used my pit a lot this year. Time for some repairs. Uh, rather than throw it away, people don't realize sometimes you, it's easy to get parts to repair these things. Do you have a gas grill? I do have a gas grill. And a charcoal grill, too? I have both. Do you have a smoker? No, I do not have a oh, smoker. Oh, man, you got to have uh, a smoker. Do you have parts for that? We got people that come in for all kinds of things, not just the grill parts, propane parts, you know? Sure. Something, that, something with their regulator, something with their hose, something with the tri fitting they're trying to convert. But if you've got a grill and you go, you know what, I love this grill, I don't really want to go buy a new one, come by and see us. I mean, if you need to replace maybe the grill, if you need to replace the burners, or you need a new temperature gauge, uh, or, or, from a rack? I see or, a or you're just looking here. at different cooking racks and accessories that you want to use for that. We've got stuff uh, to clean your grill, to help keep it looking nice and new. We've got covers that you can put over it. You know, if you set it out in the weather, it's going to go bad, okay? Buy a cover, protect your little investment. You know, some people spend what? Three, four hundred dollars on grills. Sure. You know, so why let it go? I why let it go covers back? along the bottom. And covers uh, of all kinds size. of sizes. Yeah, for kettles, for rectangulars, for gas, for griddles. You know, uh, yeah, griddles. You know, we sell a griddle, and a lot of people don't really know what I'm talking. It's a flat top. It's kind of like when you walk into like the Waffle House. You see them back there, cooking burgers and eggs on it. Thirty-six inch or twenty-four inch griddles. I mean, those are so sweet. If you've never cooked on one, you see I'm hooked on just, on just charcoal and wood. Mm -hmm. Boy, the griddle's great. You can cook pancakes on it, you can cook eggs on it, you can cook bacon on it, you can cook steaks on it. So yeah. it's pretty cool. If you're wanting to come see one, come by and I'll show you one. I bought one uh, last year and I use it more than my grill now. So it's kind of great. Yeah. But You know something else that caught my eye is this thing here. Ah, I've not seen one of these before. The Orion. Uh, we brought this in. A guy from Louisiana came in. He go, asked for it and I'd never heard of it. And so we brought it in for him and uh, and now, now we can't keep them on the shelf, especially during the holiday seasons. And, and it's so simple. It uses charcoal, and it's not like the, a lot of the uh, oilless fryers that you got to use propane with it. Okay, this is a full charcoal, and, and, their, and their whole thing is fill it, fire it, forget it. Okay, it's got charcoal on top, charcoal on bottom, cooks turkeys, cooks uh, Cornish hens, ribs, roasts, anything you want to perfection. It's really a good unit. The guy even brought us some food over, wanted to do a demo on site. Yeah. I said, bring it on, dude. I was going to say, you've found to have some experience with this. Yeah. We've gotten some good feedback yeah. anyway. Yeah, very, very good stuff. So, but folks, if you're grilling this summer, and I know everybody is, you need some parts, you need some need charcoal, you need chips, you need smoking uh, stuff to smoke with. We've got it here at M&D Supply. Sure. Hey, and I know I was telling you about this, but th this is something I discovered a couple years ago, great for charcoal. And it helps you get it going. You put your flame, you set this on your grill, you've got your, your paper under here, you light it, and your charcoal is up here. And it burns better. It gets it going and gets it white and good and toasty, and then Pretty cool. you pull it right James into the grill. Is teaching us something I, about our products. I think I've that's used awesome. it one time, and I loved it, and so I've been using it ever since. Perfectly better than the little fire starters you use, right? Sure. Hey, you got some wood chips, too, and uh, ah. just for a little smoke flavor is what I really like. But it's always finding something, to, a tray to put those things in, and I see Yeah, cherry, apple, uh, mesquite, hickory, uh, all types of flavors. But this little box we got right here, this is pretty cool, because usually you're wrapping it in heavy-duty foil, punching a few holes in it, soaking it in water for about 20 minutes, and sure. then throwing it in your charcoal. And it deteriorates, it burns the chips up real quick, you don't really get a lot of good smoke. Uh, with this metal box here, lasts, it steams up inside, and then it releases all the flavor of the chips. So it's a nice thing. Got it on sale right now, too, I think. Yeah. So that's cool. And of course, I see all the cleaners here. That's what I need to get for my grill. So I'm yeah, just spray it down. Grease is always hard to break up. Yeah, clean your grill after you grill, not till the next time you grill. Yeah, <laughs> we all wait till we fire it up yeah. again. I know Who exactly what you're talking about. clean after you cook, about. right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Frank McKinney, M&D Supply, where good help is, is easy, easy to, to find. find.